the three remaining contestants now face their most advanced cooking challenge yet. They have an hour and 20 minutes to produce a three-course meal that they've designed themselves. Sheridan's finished in time, but will her scallops on a bed of parsnip puree with coral sauce impress? Wow, that is just absolutely bursting with scallop flavour. And that sauce is an absolute triumph. I didn't expect that and I've just been smacked in the face with it. Absolutely wonderful, well done. Thank you. Well cooked scallop, nicely cooked puree. The flavour of that sauce is very, very strong. I think it's quite exciting and you know you've eaten scallops. <laughs> Can Sheridan match the success with her main course of pork and crackling with celeriac mash and a cider jus? You get a little bit of cider at the start and then in comes the celeriac. Your pork's beautifully cooked. Your crackling is lovely and crunchy. OK. The strength of the flavour that comes from the fat and the crackling with the celery act is great, but the sauce needs a bit more punch. <laughs> OK. But you're cooking interesting food. Yep. Sheridan's hopes of a semi-final place now rest on a dessert of rosewater biscuits and creme patisserie with raspberries and a raspberry coulis. First onto my tongue was your raspberry coulis. The biscuit, strong enough to hold it, gentle and soft enough to just fall apart, buttery and gorgeous. Ah, oh, gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. Just because you stack your food up, it ain't going to taste any better. No. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. The raspberry's sweet, lovely soft buttery biscuits, vanilla in the cream, lots of skill and a lot of finesse. It's very, very delicious. Thank you. Very delicious. Have we seen everything we're going to see of Sheridan? There's so much more I can give and show. I think the foundations are there and they can be built on quite a lot. I love cooking and I want to have cooking as my job. I want to be able to do it every single day. It makes me so happy. Just, you know, being in the kitchen and cooking. And yeah, there's stress and there's lots of things, but any other job's going to be stress. Um, why not have a job that you love? Andy's first course is a salad of crab mayonnaise and pink grapefruit. It's fresh, it's clean, it's sharp. It has the sweetness of that grapefruit. It has lovely sweet crab. The mayonnaise is just binding it together. It's clever stuff. I enjoy my crab sweet and sharpness of the grapefruit first. I think that's absolutely yummy. Andy's main course is poached sea trout with asparagus, mashed potato and mint hollandaise. The wine of that sauce comes right out the start. Texture of the potato is fantastic. The fish is cooked beautifully. You are doing pretty well. Your mash is soft and nicely seasoned. The fish is sweet, the flesh is gorgeous. I think that's delightful. His dessert is spiced pear tart tatin with creme fraiche. The pastry is lovely and crispy on the outside. It has that lovely chewy caramel stuck on the side of it. The pears are cooked really, really well. It's very tasty indeed. Very tasty indeed, and a crowd pleaser. Hint of lemon, giving way to caramel, giving way to juicy pear. Very good. Yummy. OK, Andy, how do you feel that went? I, I haven't cooked 100% here. There's always things you change. I was going at 100 miles an hour, but I hope that I've shown the kind of food that I like to cook, and I hope I've given you a sense of the kind of cook I am. Um, yeah, I've really enjoyed the experience, and I'd just love to go to go further, basically. So, you know, um, I'm going to keep raising my game, keep learning, and, and I'd love the opportunity to, to show you guys, you know, more, more of me. <laughs>